Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to get parent record along with child record when using Salesforce REST API. If you have any integration where you are going to use Salesforce REST API to query parent record along with child record, then we can make use of subquery. Let's take account and contact relationship. Account is the parent object and contacts are a child records to an account. I have an account record here with the name infallible techie and if I go to related I can find couple of uh, contacts record. If I wanted to fetch account record along with the contacts record then we can make use of subquery when using SOQL in Salesforce REST API. Let's see that. So first I'm doing authentication so that I can get access token. Since I'm using a connected app and uh, since it is REST API, I'm making use of uh, um, the connected app in Salesforce. Using that I'm getting the client ID and secret and then I'm entering my username and password and grant type I'm using it as password. So using this uh, post request I'm, I will be able to get the access token. So I'm making the call post call I got the access token. I will be using this access token because I have a code um, which will get the access token and I'm going to use that in in my header authorization will be head bearer space access token in the param I'm using Q in the Q I'm using select name comma subquery select name from contacts from account where ID is equal to the ID of the record so this is the ID of the record I'm using it I'm, get, I'm making a get request a get request because it is an uh, SOQL execution so this query will be executed and then I will be able to get account and as well as the contacts that are associated so let's do this call so I'm able to get account contacts for the contact I will be, I'm able to get the name you can add additional uh, fields also in the query if you wanted to get other additional fields from the child record. So using subquery we can easily get parent record and as well as child record information when whenever we are using Salesforce REST API for SOQL. Please check the video description. In the video description I have shared my blog post. From the blog post you should be able to get the sample query and uh, references to the post and get request. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.